try to pretend like I live some extravagant life in Portugal, which I don't actually live. Yeah, good morning. Part of my routine at the moment is to be violently woken up by Carol at about five minutes before it's time to leave, and then to walk down and get a coffee and take her to the station before she goes off to work and earns the bacon for the household. As you can hear, the birdies are awake, which is really nice. This shot is just... <laughs> well, that's your best shots. Yeah, those are the ones that get me the most views. Today, I'm going to walk you through a day in my life here in Portugal. And I don't have a lot planned, so it's going to be a bit freestyle, far from the hip type stuff. I do have a medical appointment uh, this morning, which I'll uh, tell you a little bit more about shortly. But yeah, most of my days, normally I start, start with a coffee, take a quick look at the markets. I will be in Lisbon City, so I'm going to get some delicious food for lunch and I'll take you guys along for the ride, show you the best befana in Lisbon. Probably be a gym session in there somewhere. I imagine there'll be a swim. Nothing too crazy. I don't really want to show you something unrealistic. I just wanted to show you what I'm doing day to day so you can get a good idea of whether you would want to live a similar lifestyle here. Let's get started with the day. A day has come. A date which will live in infamy. I've started to lose my hair. You should quit now and save yourself the embarrassment. Yeah, so I'm on my way now to the medical clinic in Lisbon. Hopefully they can do something about it. It's got a little bit of thing on the front there and nothing too serious yet, but uh, I've been kind of freaking out about what to do. And so I just did nothing for the last three months and it's just getting worse. So that's what we're doing this morning. barely see the ocean today because there's so much hay, so much smoke from the fires in central and northern Portugal. The, Bif the Bifanish of Alonso. Afonso. Now it's time to try the best Bifana in Portugal. As Bifanas do Afonso. And our apologies to my Portuguese friends out there for absolutely butchering that. Pretty excited to taste this one, I'm not going to lie. This has got really, really high ratings. It's the, the best rated Bifana across Google, Yelp, TripAdvisor. If the lion is anything to go by, this should be really, really, really good. Three Bifana, two Australian. bigger. All right, so now we have to put some mustard in here. This is a look at the, the Bifana. Oh, look at that steam coming off. Looks absolutely delicious. Fuck yeah. Drown that shit in mustard. Little peri-peri. Cool. So, moment of truth. It's fucking good. Some of the ones you get in Lisbon, they have like garlic and all sorts of other like goodies in it. This seems to just be like mainly just the pork. Yeah, I think so. It's like a bit plainer than normal, but that's why when you add the mustard and you add the peri-peri, it really just is delicious and juicy. The meat's really tender. They're churning out so many bifanas that it's the meat's always fresh. The ones that actually lives up to the hype. Yeah, true. Yeah. As a Portuguese person, you agree? Yeah. <laughs> Have you had better? Um, I don't think so, no. No? Maybe I was hungrier. Carol's uh, talking about the migrant situation. Much like the rest of Europe right now, they're getting pretty much overrun with illegal migration. And there is no other place to see it really than right here in the center of town in Rossio, where unfortunately there's just a lot of people in the streets. just stopped at one of the oldest confeitoria, one of the oldest like sweet treat places in, in Lisbon. Come on you come. The inside which is a uh, cherry. Just had some black forest gato and a bolo de bolim, another Portuguese favourite, I'm probably butchering that one too. No, 
I'm used to eating so many carbs. As for the rest of the day, nothing too exciting planned. I've got a call with a, a remote closing company. See how it goes. Uh, remote closing is where you basically close deals for companies and influencers online as opposed to working for kind of larger companies. We'll see how that goes. Not holding out too many high hopes. They're probably gonna ask for a lot of money up front. But uh, right now, probably gotta take it easy. We've got a lot of different veggies, which is really nice. Always feels good. Have a fridge full of food. Hot tart. Lots of veggies, lots of fruit, beautiful stuff in there. It's probably about four kilometers for me to walk, so I don't like to do it more than once a week if I can avoid it. Just having a chat with the lady there, she said, um, it's just all comes from her boss's farm, you know, so it's all just locally grown stuff. And uh, the quality is really good. I've been really happy with it. And as you can see from the prices there, pretty reasonable. Continent peri peri sauce, this is a must have. A little finale that we've been indulging in the last couple of days. Just a cheeky dip in the ocean at sunset. It's fucking freezing, so it is a little more like a kind of a cold, uh, cold plunge, but uh, it's just a nice way to tie off the day. Finally, some lines, bro. Oh, I should have brought the board down. <laughs> oh, I just got eye contact with one of them. <laughs> there was just a couple making out in a car that we just walked past and I, I locked eyes with one of them and made him very uncomfortable. That's what we do. Here to break up relationships. Look at that. Stunning down here tonight. Very nice. Aquele castelo é muito imponente. Aquele castelo é I'll be hosting language lessons on this channel very soon, guys, so make sure you subscribe for that if you want to learn how to learn Portuguese very, very quickly. Oh, it's gonna be cold. <laughs> I'm gonna be a pussy. I'm only doing this for fucking content anyway. I try to pretend like I live some extravagant life in Portugal, which I don't actually live. I just sit in my fucking computer and just mess. <laughs> That she could, she looked back like, and I caught it on camera to look at you. Looks like a At you. She passed and then she, yeah. Well, when you're dating a handsome, uh, handsome fellow like me, then what do you expect? But maybe this is the kind of content that people want to see now. Like more like organic shit. Like, I don't know. That's what I've noticed on YouTube. Do you want to see shit like this or would you prefer if I actually showed relevant, interesting stuff? It's lovely though. Alrighty, should we get the fuck out of here? So, I think that's a wrap. If you've made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Uh, hit that like button if you haven't already, and thanks again for watching.